Diogo Dallo, Portugal's best defensive prospect in a long time. He's been developing and has been hyped up for many seasons now, but under Eric Ten Hag, he seems to have finally found his mojo. Dallo first came onto the scene as a regular starter under Ralph Ragnick's tenure as Manchester United manager, where he was shining in a struggling Manchester United team. With ratings shown, he was Man United's most consistent defender throughout this season and the last. But in what areas has he shown improvement on? Well, he came in for Armand Masaka, who was getting rinsed week in week out due to his positioning. Where Dallo's reading in the game and his aggression was a massive improvement on that, he can drive up the wing and help the team out on the attack while always being quick enough to track his man. Dallo is a physically strong defender known for his speed, technique and offensive capabilities. He can play as a fullback or winger on either flank, although he usually plays on the right. He's usually deployed as a wing back on the right, but in a more conventional fullback role on the left. As a left back, he's been praised for his work ethic and defensive awareness. He has good dribbling skill and is noted for his involvement in counter attacks by making crosses or long passes. His physique enables him to perform well in aerial duels. His defensive abilities are second to none, as he doesn't give the man he's marking an inch. He had Ben Rama mark so well against West Ham, he was probably looking for him in his rearview mirror when he was driving home. Whether it's getting in a block, a tackle, or winning a header, there's not many more reliable options than Diogo Dallo. Going forward, he's a great utility to be used in the attack, always pushing all the way up to the box and being a great option all the way up the pitch. With a great vision and a reading of the game, on the ball he's always going to get the pass off, averaging a big chance created in every 90 he plays. Over his time at multiple clubs, he's played multiple different roles, showing a diversity in his footballing ability. At Porto, his best asset to the team was his great passing, where he utilised the long ball and created many chances for his teammates by doing so, finding more passes than Jurgen Klopp can find excuses for Liverpool losing games. He would go on to win his first major honour, winning the Portuguese title with Porto at 18 years of age. After a successful debut season in Portugal, he'd be signed to Man United by the special one, Jose Mourinho, on a five-year contract for £19 million, who had nothing but praise for Dallo, saying he'd go on to be Man United's right back for the next decade, where he'd play a big role for Jose before Ole came in, signing Juan Basaka and halting his development. That's when he went out on loan to AC Milan, where he would learn a lot about his defensive traits we see today under Eric Ten Hag, while still utilising his passing range and dribbling, pushing the team forward using space and progressing the attack. During the season, Dallo's versatility enabled him to play as either a right back and left back. This made him an integral part of Stefano Pioli's team, helping Milan secure second place in the Serie A and qualification for the Champions League after an eight year absence in the competition. AC Milan were opted to try and keep Dallo. Borussia Dortmund were also interested in signing him on a loan deal, but he decided to remain at United as he was confident he could play over wan for a starting position. During this time, he would make his international debut for Portugal during the Euros in 2021, coming in last minute after Joao Cancelo picked up an injury after already showing his country how he was capable of winning the Euros in 2017 at under-17 level, also helping the under-19 squad get to the quarter-finals of their Euros, getting in the team of the tournament in both tournaments in the same year. There was no doubt he'd be the best option to bring, while only playing a total of 111 minutes versus France and Belgium, he would show enough to stay in the squad until the World Cup where he was one of Portugal's best players. Then in October, when he was called up by Portugal, he provided two assists, the first one being converted by Cristiano Ronaldo in a 3-0 home win against Qatar. Then in September 2022, Dallo scored his first two international goals in a 4-0 away win against the Czech Republic during the Nations League. Eventually, Oli would be sacked and Dallo would be brought into the start in 11 against Arsenal with a massive performance, creating the chance for a second goal and there was an instant improvement on Mambasaka. He'd go on to only miss two games for the rest of the season that weren't down to injury, playing exceptionally under Ralph Ragnick and shining in a squad of non-performers, showing a mentality like no other. Now under Eric Ten Hag, he is a complete right back. He can attack, defend, play on the right, on the left. There's absolutely no reason why he cannot go on to become the best right back in the world. An ability and mentality like no other 23 year old right back with a big hunger for winning. Do you think that will go all the way to the top? Let me know in the comments below. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed. It helps a lot. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.